tell God he always insists on doing these things. Mm -hmm. You see, oh, let's see who's already here. Um, no, good to see you, Reverend. Reverend Dayton, good to see you indeed. Could you just come down here, please, to join me? Thank you very much. This one, come along. Okay. Miss Lemon, That's how me. do you do? Would you take a seat, please? Monsieur Poirot will be along shortly. And he likes everything to be just so. You met Mr. Poirot, have you? Well, as you'll know, he's a funny little man. We like him. Miss Lemon! Oh, Captain Hastings! Good to see you again. Ah, Captain Hastings, Reverend nice to meet you. I say, is that you, Sir Bellamy? It is! It is you, Sir Bellamy End! Oh, I'm so glad you <laughs> came, old chap. Please have a seat. Sir Bellamy, Miss Lemon. Miss Lemon? Sir Bellamy End! Oh, how do you do, Miss Lemon? Sir Bellamy End, Reverend Dayton. Where the devil is Poirot? Well, who are you on? Well, he is a funny little chap. There's no need to take that tone, Miss Lemon. What do you mean? She's a bit of one, chaps. I say, Reverend, do you know Miss Underlay by any chance? No? No? What about you, Sir Bellamy? Do you know Miss Underlay? I, yes, just you do? She's just, right there, yes. What? What? Which one? Which that, one? That small lady right there. What, this one? Was this Miss Underlay? <laughs> Miss Underlay, nice to meet you. I'm Captain Hastings. We don't bite. If you could just join us, then you're very Please, have a seat. Well, I think that's everyone. Miss Levin, how do you do? Miss Underlay, nice to meet you. As a Bellamy N and Reverend N. Yes. Do you know Poirot by any chance? He's Belgian, you know, like the buns. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know what can be keeping him. Can you just talk amongst yourselves? Yes, sir. Miss Lemon? Is it what? He's nearly ready. What? Was he dressed? Were you like? <gasps> what are you implying? Of course he was dressed. Oh, what's the hang? He's waxing his moustache. Oh. Well, could you help him? Miss Lemon. There are some things a man must do for himself, and waxing one's moustache is one of them. You of all people should understand. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you implying? If I talk to this one, no, it should be dangerous. Ah, uh, <laughs> begging your pardon, Miss Underlay. Captain Hastings? Miss Lemon? Miss Underlay. Sir Reverend who? Sir, Sir, Sir Bellamy. Sir Bellamy. Sir Bellamy. Sir Bellamy. Sir Bellamy. And Red Red. Yes. yes. You're a magetful one, aren't you? I am indeed. <laughs> I give you. Miss your Poirot! Miss Lemon? Miss your Poirot! Captain Miss Poirot! Reverend Dingy, it is a pleasure. Lovely to meet you, Master Bellamy. Enchanted. Oh, Bellamy. Miss Underlay, how are you? Miss your Poirot! Lovely to meet you. Miss Lemon? 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 Of course not, Miss Undy. Well, why the devil not? I've got things to do. Miss Lemon, have you got things to do? I've got things to do. She's got things to do, too. What about you chaps? Have you got things to do? Would you like to leave or would you like to remain? Nobody is to leave yet. First, we must invoke Article 50. And then, we must solve this most deceitful and duplicitous of intricate murders. Yes, Lemon. I would be delighted. However, we must provoke the suspense a little bit further. Oh, why? We await the arrival of a representative of His Majesty's police force. Oh, Inspector Jack? Oui, you have a bit of a Oh, Inspector Jack. Oh, very good. No, you, Inspector Jack. Ah, Inspector. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, Inspector? Come on, Poirot. I'm here for your bloody policy. Hang on. Ah, oh, you mean the de denouement? Yes, so stop stringing it out. Right. This is the bit where you make a long, detailed speech, where you include every last little offence and blackmailable peccadillo of these three reprobates. Miss Lemon? Peccadillo? What's a peccadillo? Oh, it's a major emergency dildo. Oh, yes. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you detail why each of them has the means, motive and opportunities to commit the offence in question, but... You point out one tiny, insignificant detail that's been unnoticed by anyone except your good self that proves that each one in turn is clearly and unequivocally innocent until you've written it down to only one remaining suspect and then they just snap under the strain and they spill it all out, revealing all. Well, but all of that is merely a ruse to get the guilty one to reveal themselves. And in this case it is completely unnecessary, for the guilty one has already revealed themselves. Really? Who is it then? Come on. Miss Underlay! No! You are not the guilty one, but you please return to your seat. 
Yes, <laughs> <laughs> roll up. Hello, Zabellamy. <laughs> you are also not to go to bed. Would you please return to your seat? Oh, I must be at you. <laughs> Reverend Angie, it is you who is not the guilty man. Would you please return to us? <laughs> then let him go, Inspector. This is ludicrous. Captain Hastings, Poirot, it is you who has revealed themselves. Oh, look, Poirot, just because a chap doesn't lock the shower door doesn't mean... Only Hastings was so eager for the palace to be over. Right you are. Oh, all right, I admit it. But I only did it because he made disparaging comments against you, Poirot. Take him out, Inspector. Right, or shall. But, but he said you gave him a French kiss. Shut up, you. As it's for you, Poirot, I'll place him in a little grey cell. 